I'm Roy. I'm Yair. And I'm Ollie. And we're the DNMR team. We use spinners to hold NMR samples that are placed inside the spinner to a certain depth so they fit right in the middle of the probe. And then we put them into the magnet on a column of air and let them sink into the magnet. In the end it sits in a probe and on top of the probe inside the magnet sits a turbine. If you look at the center ring there, there are some very small holes that spin the sample. The sample drops into the magnet gently and rests on the turbine and with the sample in the probe. It's called a spinner because we can use compressed air on the turbine to spin the sample. The sample can then be ejected and removed using a column of air. We have been having trouble lately with some of our NMR spinners breaking, so I thought we'd try a drop test on a broken spinner to see just how well they stand up. And indeed, after being dropped twice, it actually broke. Here's the piece to prove it. This is one of the older but high quality Brooker spinners, but uh, after many years' use, it also broke. So, we're going to try the drop test on this one. After 12 times dropping, this broke here, came loose. So, yes, this is more resilient. And now, we have these high temperature ceramic spinners from Broca. These are rather expensive, but this one is already broken. Uh, they're known to be fragile. So, I'm going to start from low down and uh, head up. Okay, 10 centimeters, no problem. 20, half a meter, smashes. See this one totally smashed, being dropped from about half a meter up. So, we can conclude from this that uh, these spinners are somewhat fragile, dropped from like two and a half meters high. I mean, they don't survive more than once or twice. These can survive a lot more punishment. I mean, it's fell 12 times, and these are really fragile. If you want to stay updated, please subscribe, press the like button, and order NMR services at the link below and in the description.